Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 42. Class 42. Let's go! Beginner. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kyle, and thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me today for class number 42 of Baugan Inglés 4.0. Yes. Beginning, as always, como siempre, as always, beginning with a review of what we saw Yesterday, yesterday we saw ordinal numbers, ordinal numbers, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, okay, fifth, be careful with that one, be careful with the pronunciation, what? Yes, be careful with the pronunciation, la pronunciación, very important, because we have a special relationship. There, well, there is. Hay una relación especial entre la, la V y la F, ¿vale? There's a special relationship between the F and the V. The V, victory, victory, V, very good V, es nada más que un F vocalizado. ¿Vocalizado? ¿Qué dices, Kyle? Pues que, que, pongo, que pongo en marcha mis cuerdas vocales. Si tengo la F, luego activando las cuerdas vocales. Very good V. Victory. Very good V. Eso es. Entonces, tenemos esa relación y, por, y aquí en este caso, five... Con V, five, se cambia cuando hablamos en el, uh, en el número ordenal. Fifth, fifth, fifth. Five is the fifth number. Sixth, six is the sixth number. Okay? Five, fifth, fifth, fifth. Okay? Y sacando la lengua con ese TH que es como la Z en español... Sacando la lengua siempre. Fifth. ¿Ok? Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. Tenth. Tenth. ¿Ok? Monday the first. Vamos a practicar un mes entero así. ¿Ok? Monday the first. Conmigo en voz alta. ¿Vale? Conmigo siempre en voz alta. Por favor. Eso es muy importante que podemos pronunciar bien esos, esas palabras, ¿vale? Monday the first, Tuesday the second, Wednesday the third, Thursday the fourth, Friday the fifth, Saturday the sixth, Sunday the seventh, Monday the eighth, Monday the eighth, Tuesday the ninth, Wednesday the 10th, Thursday the 11th, Friday the 12th, Saturday the 13th, Sunday the 14th, Monday the 15th, Tuesday the 16th, Wednesday the 17th, Thursday the 18th, Friday the 19th, Saturday, the 20th, Sunday, the 21st, Monday, the 22nd, Tuesday, the 23rd, Wednesday, the 24th, Thursday, the 25th, Friday, the 26th. Saturday, the 27th. Conmigo en voz alta. Sunday, the 28th. Monday, the 29th. And Tuesday, the 30th. 
Y miércoles, Wednesday the 31st. Muy bien. Very good. También ayer estuvimos practicando, bueno, en el último clase, estuvimos practicando con la idea de how much, how much money, how much money is there on the table. There, there is two euros and 25 cents. There is 57 cents on the table. How much money is there? Porque es incontable. We can count the euros, but we cannot count money. Okay? How much money is there on the table? How much money is there in the bank account? How much water is in my glass? Or is there in my glass? How much water is there in my glass? There is uh, more or less half a glass. Está media lleno. It's half full. Soy optimista. It's half full. Hmm. Ask me how much bread there is on the table. How much bread is there on the table? There is half a baguette on the table. About half a baguette. Hmm. Ask me how much time there is left. Kyle, how much time is there left? How much time is there left? There is... Uh, there is 12 minutes left. Antes de irnos a los anuncios. Before we have to go to the advertisements. Yes, before we take a break. We have 12 minutes. Okay. Word of the day. Yes, it's time now for our word of the day. Our word of the day today is... Viaje. Trip. Trip. Que es el sustantivo. Trip. To take a trip. To go on a trip. ¿Ok? Cuando, cuando digamos que vamos a viajar, we are going to travel. We are traveling. El verbo es travel. Travel es verbo. Trip es sustantivo. Eso es muy importante. Oigo siempre este error. Muchísimas veces. ¿Ok? I hear this all the time. Trip is a noun. Travel is a verb. Every summer I travel. Yes, last summer I traveled to Canada. I took a trip. T-R-I-P. I took a trip. I traveled to Canada. Yes, I traveled to Canada. I took a trip. I took a trip to Canada. Canada. I took a trip. I traveled. Very good. Okay. Now, we're going to practice the Saxon genitive. Yes. Saxon genitive. Okay. Eso es muy, muy importante. The Saxon genitive. Genitivo sajón. We can practice the Saxon genitive with... Family, with a family and family members and relationships. I have a family here. Giovanni and Natalia are married. Llevan muchos años casados. casados. Giovanni and Natalia are married. Natalia is Giovanni's wife. Giovanni is Natalia's husband. They have three children. Luigi is their son. Luigi is Giovanni's Son. Luigi is Natalia's son. Luigi is Giovanni and Natalia's son. He is one of their sons. They have two sons. Tienen dos hijos y una hija. Okay? Well, digáis en español tres, tres hijos. Pero en inglés, he has two, they have two sons and one daughter. They have three children. Yes. Sandro is also their son. And Margarita is their daughter. Margarita is Giovanni and Natalia's daughter. Giovanni is Natalia's... Uh, Giovanni is Margarita's father. Natalia is Margarita's mother. Okay. Luigi is Giovanni and Natalia's son. He is married to... Sophia. 
He is Sophia's husband. Sophia is his wife. Yes. They have a son and a daughter. Anna is Luigi and Sophia's daughter. Roberto is Luigi and Sophia's son. Roberto is Anna's brother. Hermano. Roberto is Anna's brother. And Anna is Roberto's sister. Margarita is married to Mario. Mario is Margarita's husband. Margarita is Mario's wife. Wife. Mujer. Wife. Margarita and Mario have a son, Fabio. Margarita is Fabio's mother. Mario is Fabio's father. Fabio is Mario's son. Fabio is Margarita's son. Fabio is Margarita and Mario's son. Sandro is Giovanni, Giovanni and Italia's son also, their other son. Sandro is married to Carla. Sandro is Carla's husband. Carla is Sandro's wife. Fíjate que no estoy diciendo the wife of, okay? Carla is Sandro's wife. Genitivo sajón, ¿vale? Sandro is Carla's husband. Sandro and Carla have three children. Paula, Marco, and Alberto. Paula is Sandro's daughter. Marco and Alberto are Sandro's sons. They are Carla's sons. They are Sandro and Carla's sons. Paula, Marco, and Alberto are Sandro and Carla's children. Paula is Marco's sister. Marco is Paula's brother. Marco is Alberto's brother. Alberto is Marco's brother. Marco and Alberto are brothers. Son hermanos. They are brothers. Margarita and Mario have a son, Fabio, como ya sabes. Fabio is Margarita and Mario's son. Paula is Sandra and Carla's daughter. Fabio is Paula's cousin. Primo, cousin. Paula is Fabio, well, uh, pr prima. Paula is Fabio's cousin. Fabio is Paula's cousin. Primo. Well, primo. Roberto and Anna are Fabio's cousins also. Fabio is Roberto's cousin. Fabio is Anna's cousin. Roberto is Paula's cousin. Marco is Fabio's cousin. They are cousins. They are cousins. Yes. Very good. Mañana vamos a practicar más con ese tema porque es, es interesante, es importante aprender esas palabras, ese vocabulario y también machacar la idea del genitivo sajón, que es muy, muy importante. Muy, muy, muy importante, ¿vale? Vamos a practicar más mañana, pero ten, tenemos que hacer otra cosa ahora, que es... Vocabulary of the day. Yes, the vocabulary of the day. That's right. It is time for the vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. The first word. Nuestra cinco... Bueno, nuestra primera palabra. Seco. Dry. Dry. Yes, dry. Europa? Europe. 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 Rápido. Fast. Fast. Pasillo. Hall. Hall. Reunión. Meeting. Meeting. Eso es. Okay, o otra, o otra vez en casa. Seco. Dry. 
Europa, Europe. Muy bien, rápido. Voy, muy, voy ahora muy, muy rápido, ¿no? Fast. Pasillo, hall. Reunión, meeting. Very good, very good. Ahora vamos a practicar los meses del año. The months of the year. The months. Month. One month, two months. Sacando la lengua con ese sonido de TH, ¿no? Months. January is the first month of the year. February is the second month of the year. También practicando números ordinales, que vamos a ver más mañana. ¿Ok? February is the second month of the year. Conmigo en voz alta. March is the third month of the year. April is the fourth month of the year. May is the fifth month of the year. June is the sixth month of the year. July is the seventh month of the year. July is the seventh month of the year. And August is the eighth month of the year. Yes, August is the eighth month of the year. And September is the ninth month of the year. October is the tenth month of the year. November is the eleventh month of the year. October, uh, uh, disculpa, November, excuse me. November is the eleventh month of the year. November is the eleventh month of the year. It's not the tenth month of the year. It's the eleventh month of the year. And December is the twelfth month of the year. December is the last month of the year. January is the first month of the year. And December is the last month of the year. January is the first month of the year. December is the twelfth month of the year. Ok, nos hemos quedado sin tiempo. Muy bien hecho hoy. Ahora podemos terminar, pero mañana siempre hay más. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.